Hey guys, DJ Ravine here, and we're here at Point Blank Music School. We're live right now, and we're here to do our online open day. This is our first time we've ever done something like this, but here with me today is Luke. He is the course advisor and also part of the admissions hey guys, team. <laughs> and we're, uh, we're gonna show you guys around the school. Luke, uh, how you doing, man? Yes, welcome, very well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so basically today uh, is our open day, and really this event is to help you get a better idea as to what Point Blank is like, find out a bit more about our courses, our programs that we offer, how you can apply and enrol to come and study with us here in London. Uh, today we're gonna go around all of our studios, we're gonna show you all our fantastic kit and give you kind of a bit more detail about what happens in each of those studios and how they relate to the courses that we do. Um, sounds good? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, just so you guys know, we are completely live right now, so, on the Facebook or YouTube, wherever you guys are watching from, drop all your questions and we'll answer all that at the end of the video. But um, yeah, what are, tell us a little about the, about the school. Cool, yeah. So I mean, I guess I'll start off with a bit of a brief history about Point Blank. So we've been around for nearly 25 years now. We were formed back in 1994. Um, originally not as a school, in fact, as a commercial recording studio. We were based down in South London, uh, in Greenwich. Um, and there were a lot of people coming into the studio asking a lot of questions about how all the equipment worked. So Rob, uh, our CEO, who uh, runs the school and who set up the school, uh, basically set up our first weekend course, which was a music production course, Saturday and Sunday, a short course to help these guys kind of figure out how all the equipment worked. And really, since then, we've come leaps and bounds. We've grown into the global presence that we are today. So we now have our main campus here in London. We've got two sites, so we're going to visit our main one today. Uh, we, we also have a campus in Ibiza, in Los Angeles, in Mumbai, and an online school as well, which perhaps many of you will be studying on uh, with us. Um, since we started, uh, we've won many awards over the years. Uh, most recently, we received a 94% satisfaction rate from our students through the National Student Survey, which we're very proud of, which I think speaks volumes about the experience that our students get when they come and study at Point Blank. It's a fun place to study. I studied here. It is. Well, so did I. I actually studied here back in 2009. I did a radio production course um, and it was fantastic uh, and it really helped me, you know, get into that industry and, you know, learn to be a lot more professional within that particular industry. Um, but since we started off as a recording studio and then offering short courses, we now offer higher education programs and many practical courses. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about those uh, as we go through all of the studios. Yeah. So should we go and check it yeah, out? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Sounds good. Right, so um, I guess we'll start off in Studio One. Um, so, if you'd like to follow me. Um, now, Studio One, this is really where we're going to be teaching our sound engineering courses. Uh, sound engineering, mixing, mastering, advanced recording and mixing are going to be taking place on the SSL here. So this is our SSL 48 channel Duality Delta mixing console. You'll tend to find these desks in a lot of high-end recording studios. Do, do, you know much, how, do you know how much these things are worth? They're worth a pretty penny, um, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so you're getting to work on state-of-the-art equipment that you'll find in a lot of professional recording studio environments, which means that when you go out and you know, look for a job as an engineer, perhaps, in the music industry, you've got experience working on the best and latest kit, and you'll know how to demonstrate that to a potential employer which could lead you on to a job. Um, and that's what it's all about. It's about us giving you the skills and tools to go out and start a successful career in the music industry. Now, let me just quickly point out a little bit about how the studios are set up here. We've got 16 workstations spread out around the room and everything is provided for the students here at the school. So we have uh, a MacBook, sorry, an iMac, I should say. The MacBooks are much smaller. Uh, a sound card, a MIDI controller, and we're working with Logic Pro, Ableton Live, Pro Tools, and a whole host of other plugins as well, which are all provided for you here at the school. So really all you need to bring is a USB stick to save your projects on, a pen, a notepad to take some notes, and you're good to go. That's everything you need. We even, um, we even provide headphones if you need to. A lot of people prefer to bring their own headphones. Yeah, some students like working off their own templates and setups. So if you want to bring in your own laptop, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. Just plug in and go. Uh, but yeah, headphones, yeah. mics, everything you need is provided here at the school. Yeah, and, it, and if you don't, I mean, like every single student gets a lap. Um, sorry, you'd use an iMac anyway. So there's there's more than enough for everybody. You exactly. Don't need to bring anything. Everyone gets their own personal studio set up to work from. So everything is here for you whilst you're studying. Cool. Cool. Sounds good. 
Let's go and check out quickly the live room. So when you're studying sound engineering, for example, uh, you're going to be using in conjunction the control room, which we're in now, and the live room through the glass over here. So you'll find your typical instruments, uh, drum kit, guitars, bass guitars, uh, different amplifiers, and we'll be working in the live room recording uh, audio, uh, working with session musicians uh, and uh, string quartets, for example, brass ensembles, capturing that audio uh, and then layering all these sounds on the desk ready for the mixing stages where we start making the tracks feel a bit fuller, a bit richer and start giving them a bit more life. Cool. Cool. Well, listen, yeah. let's go and check out Studio 2. If you follow me, we'll go on to the next one. So our live room, uh, which is just behind this wall over here, um, actually doubles up onto two studios. So we have Studio 1, which we've just been in, and then here is Studio 2. This room's quite similar to the other one in the essence that it's still, you know, a mixing desk and all that kind of stuff. They, we teach similar classes in this room, don't we? Yeah, so if you're studying sound engineering or mixing, mastering, uh, you could be in Studio 2 here or in Studio 1. But typically we'll have a sound engineering course where we have use of the control room and the live room together. And if we're working more on the post-production stages, we'll just use the control room. Uh, in here we have an Audience 48 channel uh, analog mixer, uh, so different to the SSL next door. So you're getting experience working with different types of consoles, different types of equipment, which just gives you more experience, more knowledge that you can then demonstrate when you're looking for a job. Uh, we're also running uh, a load of outboard gear. Uh, so if your thing is analog processing, getting that nice, fat, chunky sound, um, you're going to start working with this external equipment. Things like compressors, limiters, effects units, uh, we can start kind of, you know, adding a bit of magic to our tracks, uh, making them sound a lot fuller and richer. Again, in terms of how the uh, studio is set up, we have 16 workstations and all of the equipment is provided here at the school. Sounds good? Cool. Yeah, every single room also is uh, slightly different in terms of like the setup. Like these rooms, you only really have like a MIDI controller and your sound card. But then we've also got other rooms which uh, have other equipment such as push, machine, but we'll go take a look at that. Now. Yeah, we're going to go and have a look at those in a minute. Follow me, we're going to dive through to Studio 4. Oh, we've also got uh, the Pioneer kit here in the hub. Yeah, well, whilst we're here, um, in our hub, which is kind of Point Blank's uh, central area, so it's somewhere where you can have your lunch, chill out, collaborate more importantly, and meet other students and share your ideas. That's something we really push here is collaboration amongst students. Uh, and we have this little DJ set up. Uh, this is where, in fact, the one-to-one -one sessions will take place with the instructors. But you can book this out on the lunch break, have a little set, have a little dance in the hub. Uh, yeah, and uh, just, you know, get your skills down. Cool, follow us. Oh, we've got the singing room here as well, but we're not going to check that out today. We're currently using that right now. So the singing room today, Studio 3, is out of bounds, unfortunately, but we'll be teaching our singing courses in there. So if you're looking at doing one of our vocal programs, singing and songwriting, for example, most likely that will be in Studio 3. I'm sure we'll do another one of these at some point. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We'll, we'll go and check out Studio 3 cool. next time. But for now... This is the room that everyone wants to see. <laughs> this is where all the, the, the kind of the spaceship controls are situated. I think, Stan, um, Ravine, you did uh, a great video the other day about five DJ mistakes uh, that a lot of DJs do. Go and watch that on YouTube right now. Well, not right now, after this. Do check it out. Um, but in here, basically, you're going to be learning how to use all of the equipment that you can see in front of you. So we have everything from traditional vinyl turntables. Learning on the ones and twos is, I'd say, critical to then getting everything else under your belt. All of this equipment you see in here essentially is based on this setup of a vinyl turntable setup, two decks and a mixer. And once you have that under your belt, you know how to beat match and you know how to effect mix and get good technique in that, then working with a setup like Pioneer CDJs, for example, falls into place nice and easily. You can also see we've got some tractor stuff here as well. We also do teach DVS systems like tractor, Serato, all that good stuff. Exactly. So once we have a better understanding of all the hardware, we're going to start getting involved with some of the software. Uh, and as you mentioned, we're looking at Tractor Pro, we're looking at Serato and Rekordbox as the kind of the main big three players that we'll focus on. But really, we want to give you the skills again to work all of this equipment so that when you are DJing in a venue, at a bar, you know how to use all the kit. And you're not just going to rock up somewhere and not know how the equipment works. You'll be proficient in understanding everything. Mm. Um, now, it doesn't only teach you how to use all this kit as well. The DJ course is going to help you find work as a DJ. And this is really important uh, because you want to start earning money. 
um, and it will teach you how to speak to club promoters, event organisers and start getting your first gigs. DJing can be quite a profitable way of earning a living from the music industry. The music industry has changed so much in the last 20-25 years that artists, producers, musicians, bands etc are looking for new ways to make money. Unfortunately, people don't go out to record shops anymore and buy records. They download them online, they go on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, and so they're looking for new revenue streams, and DJing can pay very handsomely. But don't just look at it from the money point of view. I mean, DJing is a hell of a lot of fun anyway, and I love DJing. Um, all this stuff is pretty much, this is like the latest stuff that Pioneer DJ comes out with. You get to play with all that, and let me tell you, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Learning how to DJ is probably the most fun I had, like learning about dance music and stuff like that. It is, it's awesome fun. Actually, one of the cool things, we have a great partnership with Pioneer, and if you want to come and check this out, um, this particular deck, uh, which is the XDJ1000, was actually developed in partnership with Point Blank. So Pioneer came in with a prototype a couple of years ago and asked our students what they thought about the deck, what features it should include, what features they should remove. And so this very deck here was developed uh, in partnership with our students. So Pioneer will sometimes bring in some new products to road test and you know, get your ideas. So it could always be pretty cool to try your hands on some new gear. Yeah, and also we're not just all CDJs, we do teach people how to use controllers and stuff like that. We've got the DDJ SZ, uh, we teach, you know, Serato controllers, tractor controllers, all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, sounds good. All right, guys, let's go and check out Studio 5. Follow me. And me. Follow us. <laughs> so, Welcome to Studio 5. So this is where we teach our radio production courses. I mentioned I actually studied radio production here. It was actually at the other site down the road. So we have two campuses here in London. This is our main campus, which we'll be visiting today. But we have another one with more studios uh, down Penn Street, so two minute walk away from the campus. So in here, you'll notice that the setups are slightly different uh, to the production ones. We have a small DJ controller. We're using the old uh, Control S2s uh, from Tractor, uh, which are an awesome piece of kit the push controllers, and you'll have a workstation which will be running uh, Adobe Audition as the main audio editing software. And we're running a Myriad system on our main radio desk, which takes pl place here. So this is uh, you know, a little more similar to a radio desk as you would imagine it. It's actually quite similar to the desk that we have in Studio One, just on a much smaller scale. Uh, but essentially we can have channels live, for example, guests that might be coming in to talk for an interview, for example, or we can have audio running from CD players or from the Myriad system itself, which is a software program where we can essentially lay out our whole radio show ready to go live. Um, now, of all the courses we teach here at Point Blank, the radio courses has one of the highest success rates. Um, on some occasions, we've had every student in the class go on and get a job in broadcasting, which is fantastic. Um, but it's also great news for music producers because if you happen to know a student, for example, who has gone on to get a job as a junior producer at the BBC, mm. then all of a sudden you've got potentially a contact that you can have your demos sent to and heard by the whole country. So I think one of the things that's really important is contacts in the music industry. The music industry is a networking industry. Yeah, for sure. And I, I do recall when we went and did the graduation. Oh, by the way, you guys, when you guys actually get your degree if you're doing a, a higher education course, you do get to do a full graduation with Middlesex University. And we did our first one just quite recently. Yeah, back yeah. in uh, June, I think. Yeah, there's a YouTube video on that as well. So uh, if you guys got time, go and check that out. And you get to wear the gown and everything, throw the hat up and all that, all that cool stuff. Exactly. But anyways, one of the students I talked to over there just graduated from a radio course. And they said, uh, you know, they got to go to the BBC to go and check it out because the instructors had like a connection there. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a, you know, work experience and all that. Absolutely, uh, it gives you kind of a first point, you know, view, uh, first point of view into the industry, uh, and you know, the ability to start making connections and contacts. Uh, one of our instructors who teaches the radio course, a guy called Michael Bailey, he actually uh, ran the drum and bass show on Radio One Extra for ten years, so he's still got a lot of contacts at the Beeb, uh, and he's great at helping the students get in. Uh, and if he does know of any opportunities that arise you know, he'll put some of the students forward. So there's always, uh, you know, scope to go and find jobs and work 
you know, come from coming to study with us in Point Blank. And that's not just in radio as well. In music production, we have opportunities for you to go into recording studios, uh, to work, go to record labels, for example, and start gaining that experience that you need to build up your CV, build up your portfolio, and then start working more professionally in the industry. Yeah, we've got like a whole section on our Point Blank Plus, which is our blog which has all student opportunities that students can go and do. Like yeah. um, sometimes it's internship, sometimes they just need some help in a studio or something. But, you know, when you study here, you're the first to know. Yes, absolutely. All these opportunities will be put forward through the blog. So check them out and, uh, yeah, get involved. Cool. Let's go on to Studio 6, guys. Uh, follow us. So, um, this is our hub, just so you can see it. We've actually had the open day events today, and we'll be having an induction day tomorrow. Uh, but when you come here next time, you'll see that we have tables, sofas, armchairs. It's a lot more of a relaxed environment. But let's pop into Studio 6, which is our native instrument studio. We've got a lot of kit in here from them. So, uh, welcome. Um, so, Studio 6, we tend to do a lot more music production-related and focused modules. So we're looking at modules like the introduction to music production. This is one of the initial modules that all students will start with, particularly when doing the degree or one of our diploma programs. So we're working with Logic Pro or Ableton Live as your main DAW. Um, we really recommend kind of getting to grips with the DAW and understanding everything it can do. Once you have a better understanding of your main production tool, then it's about being more creative, getting your ideas out a lot more fluidly and enjoying that production process a little more. Once you have a good understanding of your main tool, Ableton or Logic, or whichever software program you may be using, we can then start getting into more advanced stuff. With the Ableton Logic, generally, as your first term, you will choose one of the other. Um, we do intro to Ableton, intro to Logic, and um, these classes usually come after the first term? Exactly. So the initial module is software specific. So you'd be picking either Logic or Ableton. Uh, thereafter, all of the other modules are cross-platform. So you might be in a class where you're with students who are studying, uh, working with Logic and others are working with Ableton. Essentially, the skills that you're learning from your instructor are applicable to either software surface um, and you know, the techniques you can put through within that DAW. So one of the modules that we then look, after, look at is called Music Composition. Uh, and composition is going to help students understand a bit more about how music is structured, how it's arranged, uh, and the musical elements that form a track. Uh, understanding a bit more about the theory. Um, so we're looking at things like chords, scales, progression, hooks, riffs, harmonies, uh, and yeah, you know, how to string a track together, how to um, start it from start to finish, basically. And for a lot of students who start uh, with computers and start making uh, music on, with a DAW, they often find that process quite difficult mm. uh, because they lack that musical theory. So we'll help you bridge that gap uh, and get over that and, again, start speeding up the creative work process and enjoying the process of you know, music production. Yeah, when I started, when I did Point Blank, one of the first courses I did was music composition. And there are a lot of the students there that had never, ever done music theory in their life before. But once they got through, you know, it slowly just, it was like a a light bulb just turned on, you know. Absolutely. Once we got towards the end of the course, it's like, oh my God, like this is how it works. And music, all of a sudden, they, they know how to write melodies a lot better and stuff like that. Music composition is more about that kind of stuff, how to make like good melodies, how to get your chord structures right. Exactly. And it's all the stuff that you generally, you're not going to be able to learn just opening up a DAW, you know. Uh, opening up DAW, you can kind of play around, but if you don't know what kind of keys you're playing, you kind of just mashing blinding on the keyboard. Exactly. It takes time. I don't know about you, but when I started making music, uh, I'd often kind of get going with a good groove, you know, a 16 bar loop, a good bass line, and then I'd hit a brick wall. Um, and I never knew how to kind of get to the next stage of the track. And it took me quite a long time to realize that it was a compositional problem, that I didn't understand how the music was supposed to be formulated and put together, structured, essentially. Uh, and so once you get that understanding, it is like a eureka moment. You know, the light bulb goes and you can kind of move on to the next stages of production. Um, and for me, that next stage is sound design. Uh, sound design is a really key module uh, because it's going to really help you start um, being unique with your production, allowing to kind of create your own signature sound, really add your own flavor into your music. 
Uh, and that's really important because it helps you stand out from the rest of the crowd. Mm. You know, when you start working with a DAW or with software synths, for example, you're presented with a whole list of presets and everyone has access to these presets, right? Um, so you want to start making your own presets. You want to start developing and designing your own sounds. And that means that you're going to be unique. Um, you know, you're going to be at an advantage over the others. And not only does it do that, but it also will open a lot of doors in terms of finding work in multimedia. Um, so a lot of music producers, they enjoy successful careers writing music for film, for television, uh, and now the most lucrative entertainment industry in the world, the video game industry. Um, there's a lot of money to be made and a lot of work to be found in those particular industries. So if you have the skill set under your belt, all of a sudden you're very employable to these types of companies. Oh yeah, one of the, again, from the graduation, one of the students, they said to me, um, they came into Point Blank with the, the dream like everyone else, you know, I'm going to become a top 100 DJ and all that. But then after they got deeper and deeper, they're like, hold on, I really enjoy, you know, scoring films. I enjoy uh, doing sound design for video games and stuff like that. It kind of shows you this new world that you might never have been aware of. Absolutely. And there's a lot of money. You can build a very successful career out of that. Definitely. Um, I think really what we're trying to get at when you come and study with us is to really give you a 360 degree view of the music industry and the different career paths that are available to you. Um, and it may be that you, know, you follow a career that you hadn't considered before, um, but a career that you really enjoy, you know, that gives you purpose and, you know, and, and helps you earn a decent living from doing what you love, which is making music. And don't worry, you can still be in the studio making your own personal stuff, uh, you know, and grooving and making great tracks also. And with all the people you're going to meet here, I mean, it's going to be great. So. Absolutely. Uh, but anyway, tell us more about this room anyway, because there is a lot of flashing lights in here. And if you guys may have noticed, we do have the new Machine Mark 3s here, and they're very, very beautiful. They're color screens and all this. Yeah. This is the Native Instruments room after all. This is the Native Instruments suite. Uh, so we have all their latest kit. We've got a great partnership with Native Instruments. Um, so as soon as the MK3s came out, they kitted us out with all of them. These are the machine jams, which are uh, their attempt uh, to kind of um, release a product similar to the Push. Uh, if you use Ableton, you might be familiar with that particular product. Uh, and then the complete control keyboards, uh, the KS series. And these are the new ones as well, with the actual color screens on them too. These are the new ones also. Um, and one of the great things, guys, uh, if you want to come study with us, we can get you some superb discounts oh, on all so of this good. kit. 30% off all the hardware that you can see and 50% off the Native Instruments Complete software range. That's Native Instruments Complete 11 and Complete 11 Ultimates. So get involved. Uh, when you come, you can help build up your studio uh, and get all the kit you need. Uh, yeah, man, cash in, on, cash in on those discounts. Absolutely. There's loads of great discounts. Cheaper travel around London, NUS cards. 40% off Fableton, uh, loads of cool stuff to, to get your hands on. Sweet. Cool. So guys, let's pop on into Studio 7, um, the last studio. Uh, follow me. Us. Uh, follow us. <laughs> cool. So uh, Studio 7. Uh, studio 7 has a similar setup to Studio 6 next door. But we tend to do a bit more work in here with Ableton. So you'll notice we have the Push 2 controllers uh, at every workstation. Um, so music production will take place in here, um, but other modules that I haven't yet talked about as part of our degrees and our diploma programs are going to be our music business modules. Uh, and for me, these music business modules are, are really, really important um, because it's 50% of the battle when it comes to becoming successful in the music industry. You can be the best music producer in the world, making the best tracks in your studio all day long, but if no one's listening to them, it's going to be quite a difficult ride for you. So it's about getting a good understanding of the music industry, the structure of it, the different kind of people you're going to meet on a daily basis. Things like distribution, uh, you know, uh, royalties, uh, licensing, publishing, uh, dealing with accountants, lawyers, contracts, negotiating, managers, all stuff that a lot of music producers tend to forget about, mm. uh, but is, is super, super important in terms of your development and your career prospects thereafter. So it's about really wearing two hats these days when you're in the music industry. You're a producer, but you're also a businessman. Uh, and it's about striking that good balance between you know, being creative, but also making sure you're making the right connections, the right contacts, you're networking, and you're moving forward to get what you need. 
So you're getting your demos heard by the right people uh, and you're moving forward in the music industry. And the good thing about that is these are things that every single musician is gonna come across, but no one teaches you these things. Like, no one teaches you about publishing. There's no, it's very, it's not like you go on YouTube and you type in uh, Silent Tutorial, a Massive Tutorial, Ableton Tutorial, Logic Tutorial. No one really goes and types uh, PRS Tutorial, yes. Accounting Tutorial, that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, very true. And this is all stuff that they teach here at Point Blank and it's stuff that you're all gonna need. Absolutely, it is so vital. Um, and all of our instructors uh, are professionals within their own field. So our music business tutors, for example, you know, they've all started up their own record labels. Uh, you know, they put on events around the world, uh, festivals, um, you know, concerts, club nights, um, or they manage artists uh, and they're very well connected within the music industry. So they could help you get those connections. You know, maybe start talking to a label owner about potentially getting signed, for example. Um, in music production terms, you know, a lot of our produ uh, expert instructors have, you know, produced for major artists. They've been signed to major record labels. And, and most of them are only working here part-time and they're still actively dealing with artists, still actively making music, Absolutely. managing artists, running events. So they have hands-on experience that they can share with you guys and like current experience too. Definitely, that's a key component for us is that they're active in the music industry. They're still very well connected within the music industry. And they're here to help you learn, uh, to transfer their wealth of knowledge onto you and to put you on to the best opportunities out in the music industry. Sweet. Uh, I think we can take a look at one of the, uh, the practice studios. Yeah, follow us. Uh, so if we go this way, um, we have some practice studios. So part of being at Point Blank, uh, you have seven days a week access to all the studio facilities. Um, and you can come and make use of practice studios just like this little practice studio here, which we're going to get to in just a second, um, where we have all of the equipment that you can use in a private setting, basically. So if you want to take a look through here, uh, you'll notice that we have uh, a basic studio setup that you can use, a bit of hardware involved as well. We've got a TR8, uh, a machine studio, uh, a Roland, um, and Push2, a UAD. Uh, so loads of nice kit that you can use. Through the glass, we have our live room. Uh, so you can book out the live room and the control room to work on maybe recording a vocalist or perhaps you want to be recording a single instrument, for example. But whilst you're here, make the most of these fantastic practice facilities. We've got some more facilities down the road at Penn Street where we have loads of old analog gear as well. We've got a Nordly 2, uh, a Moog Sub Fatty, a Korg MS-20 Modular. There's loads of cool stuff. If you're into kit and analog kit, this is the place to come. Um, let's go back to where we started. Uh, and I think we have uh, a couple of Q&A questions. Yep, yep, let's go through going through. Oh, all of these, by the way, are artists that have done guest, uh, guest appearances here, uh, even some graduates that you might know of. Yes, so uh, this is our Wall of Fame, uh, and it features guest artists and graduates. The guest artists come in here and they'll do masterclasses and workshops and talks for our students. The graduate artists, well, as you can imagine, are previous graduates of ours that have gone on to do incredibly well. People like Leona Lewis, uh, Felix Jan, uh, even Goldie, who's already a very established music producer in the drum and bass scene, came to learn a bit more about Ableton. I think he was making music on an Atari back in the days and thought, you know, I'd better get on all this Ableton stuff. So came and did a short course with us. Uh, so you know, even the already established music producers are coming to point blank. Sweet. Let's go and check out uh, your questions. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, and it gave you a bit of a better insight uh, into Point Blank, into the school, into what we do here. Um, and I think those of you who have been watching via the chat room might have some questions which we'd be happy to answer. Cool. So the first one here is, what kind of funding is there for courses and are there scholarships available? Very good question. Uh, so if you are looking to do, we're on this camera now, Cool. Uh, if you're looking to do one of our degree programs, uh, one of our three-year degree programs, there is a student loan available uh, for the three-year prog programs only. So, uh, if you're, um, you can get a student loan, sorry, uh, which will be £6,165 per year uh, for that particular course. It's a three-year program, as I mentioned. For scholarships, there are scholarships and bursaries that would be available and you can apply for those along applying for the course itself and basically that would alleviate some of the costs. So there is a PBE producer scholarship uh, which will uh, give you 
£3,000 per year off the cost of the course. Uh, and we have a secondary scholarship which would give you £1,000 per year off the course. Cool. I hope that answers that question. Uh, we've got another question here. I'm an overseas student from Hong Kong. If I plan on joining the DJ and music producer BA degree course, what are the requirements? Very good question also. So for international students, um, you will re need, require a visa to come and study with us. So we are what's called a tier four sponsor. Uh, and a tier four visa is a student visa essentially that allows you to come and study with us in the UK. So we'd be sponsoring you to come and join the course. Um, now, there's, the requirements are essentially that you uh, will need to meet the academic requirements of the course. Um, and really, I think the best thing for you to do would be to go out and check out the International Student section page on our website, which will give you a full list of each of the entry requirements to get the visa. Um, if you do have any other questions as well, it's always worth getting in touch with the course advisors, myself or my colleagues, uh, by sending uh, an email or an inquiry through to admissions at pointblankmusicschool.com. Sweet. Uh, another question is, what is the range of prices for the courses? Um, so the range of prices uh, varies. We have short courses, which are weekend programs, two days per week, um, which start at around £395, up to our three-year BA degree course, uh, which would be in line with normal university course fees. Uh, and everything in between. What I'd recommend, again, is checking out the course pages on the website. Uh, and if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll find the list price as well as a few payment options that are available. Cool. Uh, how about how many places are available per course? Um, so we receive quite a high number of applications uh, for our courses, particularly our degree, degree programs. Typically, uh, we would accept two out of three uh, applicants on the course. Um, as you've seen, you know, our, our school isn't uh, of the biggest of magnitudes in terms of its size. But that's an advantage for because it's very personal? Absolutely. It's a lot more intimate uh, and there's a lot more kind of one-on-one -on -one time that you get with the instructors. So the class sizes are 16 maximum. Uh, typically, if we're looking at a degree course, we probably have about 100 starters starting uh, this September. Uh, but we have start dates around the year, so we also have start dates in January, in April, and in July. So if we're full up for September, you can always apply to start with us in January, or then in April or July. Cool. Um, another question is, are the discounts available for students on campus as well as online? Yes, there are. So again, you should check out the blog page, because uh, the blog page will list all of the discounts that are available to online students as well as on-campus students. Um, so check that out and you can see what's available. The Native Instruments uh, discounts are available to online students too for the software. Um, for the hardware, if you can get to London, we might be able to get you one. Otherwise, it's not going to be available, I'm afraid. Cool. Uh, someone else asks, can you fit a course around while still working full-time at a non-music job? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, we offer part-time courses, uh, so uh, they would typically take place in the evenings. Um, the session is spread over two evenings. So if you're working nine to five um, and you've got a bit of spare time in the evenings, you could come and study our Introduction to Music Production, maybe, or one of our DJ courses. If you're looking to do a degree with us, though, it's going to be a little more difficult doing that part-time. Um, as it is a higher education course, obviously, it will be a full-time program. Yeah, I when I started, I did the intro to Ableton at night, yep. and most of the people there worked full time jobs. I mean, most a lot of people came in wearing their suits and everything, and they're just there. And most of them were uh, thirty plus. Like I think two or three of them that I still keep in contact with, they're about thirty two, thirty five. Right. Been working quite a long time doing full time work in the office, and then they all, they wanted to get back to their passion, which Absolutely. was making music. And uh, yeah, it's it's something you definitely can do. Um, off, t off, your, off your work time, so. Cool. Um, okay, so another one is, is the student loan available for non-EU students? Sadly not. Uh, I'm afraid uh, the student loan, the UK student loan, will only be available to UK students and EU students. Um, yeah, so um, if you are looking for a loan or a grant or some form of bursary and you're not from the European Union or the United Kingdom, then you may be able to get a loan or grant from your own country, your own government. And if you are able to, just let us know the details um, and we can maybe get in touch with them and look at a few of those options. Cool. Uh, a good one here we have is, uh, can someone with no prior experience succeed at Point Blank? 
Definitely. Uh, I think we've had many students that have gone on to be very successful. I'll give you an example. Uh, a lady called Nicole Mudaba, uh, who I think started our uh, DJ course with very little experience in DJing and is now one of the biggest headliners in Ibiza every year. Absolutely killing it. She's uh, Carl Cox's protege. She was picked up and is now running her own record label, um, developing and finding loads of new artists and DJing all over the world. Uh, really, I think it comes down to your drive, to your passion and to your desire to be successful. Uh, and you can certainly make it without any prior experience and go on to achieve very highly. I mean, the whole point of coming here also is, you know, we give you all the tools to start from the first step all the way to, you know, becoming a successful artist. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Come along. Come on, come all. Um, okay, so if people are interested in applying, like what's the step that they can take now? So if you'd like to apply for one of our higher education programs, uh, you'll need to complete our higher education application form. So you can find this on our website. Uh, if you head to the degree courses, click Enroll Now, you'll find a link to download our application form. Please complete that electronically as a PDF and then send that to our admissions team. That's admissions at pointblankmusicschool.com. Along with your course qualifications, uh, your grade transcripts, uh, and uh, a portfolio of work, we'll also need to see uh, a bit about your experience prior to this. And what will happen is the admissions team will review your application, uh, possibly interview you, and hopefully look to make an offer. Once you've got an offer to come and study with us, at that stage you can enrol in the course and you're coming to point blank. Sweet, sweet. Um, Let me just interject yeah. just one last thing. If you're looking at maybe doing a practical course, there is no application process. So for that, it's just a question of enrolling on the course that you want to study. Head to the course page on the website, you'll see a big orange banner at the bottom, which says enroll now. Uh, click enroll and follow the procedure to get your place reserved. And again, you know, pointblankmusicschool.com, if you have any questions there, I mean, all the answers are gonna be there. We've got, um, um, yeah, that, that's, it's a great place to go just to find out, like all the prices are there as well. Basically, everything is digital and online. Uh, we don't do any hard copy prospectuses because uh, we believe in saving the planet and not chopping down too many trees. So everything is digital uh, and on the website. So for any further information that you might need, check it out. We have all the course prices, all the module uh, breakdowns of how the courses are structured, and more information about funding, scholarships, international students, for example, accommodation, if some of you are coming from abroad, uh, you can find all that information on our website. So I've got another one just uh, to add on to that about succeeding with no experience and all that. Can you enroll with zero experience? You can enroll with zero experience on a practical course with us. If you're looking to do a higher education course, then there is certain entry criteria that we would expect our students to meet. Um, you know, you'd have to have some form of experience in music production, be able to back up your application with uh, a portfolio of work, showcasing what you've already done. We don't expect you to be an expert, a professional, you know, already sounds like, uh, you know, one of the best DJs or producers in the world. We're here to help you with that. But a bit of experience will help you in terms of uh, strengthening your application. But if you're looking at uh, doing a practical course with us, yeah, you can enroll whenever you're ready. Sweet. Well, uh, anything else you want to add today? Um, well, listen, uh, all I'd like to add is hopefully we'll see you uh, through our doors and in the studios very soon. Uh, and we look forward to receiving your applications or having you join one of our courses. For any queries or any questions you might have, please send us an inquiry or an email at admissions at pointblankmusicschool.com or give us a call and we'll be happy to help. And if you're ever in London, you can come in and check out the actual physical campus that you've saw, seen today and uh, actually get your hands on and take a bit of a look. We, do, we did just finish an actual open day today. Yeah, that's right. They happen what, once? once uh... The open days happen every six weeks or so, but we do tours every Wednesday at 5.30 uh, here in London. So if you're in town, come and check it out in the flesh. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Cool. Watch that YouTube channel, subscribe, hit Take that subscribe easy. button, hit that like button, leave those comments, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. All right.